Recently, a U.S. district judge ruled that a Mississippi religious freedom law was unconstitutional. I've got Bruce Houseconnect from Focus on the Family here today, and we're going to talk about it. Hey, Bruce, tell me about the ruling and what this law was all about. Well, Kim, the law is a Conscience Protection Act simply to protect uh, from government harassment anyone in Mississippi who, because of their belief in marriage that is between a man and a woman, or the view that uh, the Bible defines what human sexuality should be about, or even the definition of male and female. It protects people from government retaliation, everything from losing a job to being investigated by the tax uh, revenue department to... That sounds pretty good to me. <laughs> it, really, it really is a basic uh, exemption from government persecution. However, uh, gay activists went to the same judge in Mississippi who struck down their marriage uh, constitutional amendment and said, look, we're offended by this law. And he struck it down in a very interesting decision. Interesting meaning totally unconstitutional of, of, <laughs> by himself. He violated uh, the First and Fourteenth Amendment just by issuing that kind of decision. He granted to people who won't be injured, aren't injured by the law, who will always get the government services or the business uh, things that they're looking for. But he's basically saying that these people are offended by the fact that this law even exists, and therefore the law is unconstitutional. Uh, when, this when this case gets to the appellate court, we hopefully will see them throw it out because the plaintiffs suffered no injury and could not possibly suffer an injury. Now, could this ruling affect other rulings on religious freedom laws such as this? Well, absolutely, because what they're saying is now, because we have same-sex marriage and we have transgenders in the military uh, and we have abortion on demand, that those rights, so-called rights, that have been created by courts are now elevated to a status where no other right, including the First Amendment, uh, is equal to or greater than those rights. Therefore, there can be no religious exemption. We're in a state now in our country where it's not just tolerance of same-sex marriage or abortion. It's acceptance, it's funding, it's no dissent and punishment for those who do. And that makes uh, the upcoming election in 2016 in November even more important because we have to elect people that hold conservative and biblical values, right? Yes. Those people in, in Washington, D.C., and even in state legislatures control what judges make it onto these empty uh, vacancies and how these cases get decided, whether it's because the Constitution is what the founders said it is going to be or it is because... Uh, these judges decide to make things up on the fly. All right, so that means you've got to get out and vote. Get registered and get out and vote in November. Bruce, it's always good to have you here. Thanks, Cam. Good to be with you. <laughs>